Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Houston Life here in Houston, Texas. Where are we Zooming from today? Where are you guys quarantining yourselves? Where are you, Lauren? I'm in Houston. Oh, well, I forget. There's two Laurens. Oh. Two Laurens. Two Laurens. <laughs> the, the ruse begins. I love it. Um, Lauren too, me, uh, I am, I'm Zooming from sunny Los Angeles, California. How about you, Steph? Same, same. I'm in the Silver Lake neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Just hanging out in my office. I think you can hear the garbage truck on the street. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, garbage. We have, we have the lawnmowers out that are constantly going back and forth, which is you know, a nice change, change of scenery from I the mean. windows of my office, office. <laughs> um, so this is so cool, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Comedy Thursday treat here uh, on Houston Live today. Lauren Ash, you are Dina on one of my favorite shows, Superstore, which is followed by Stephanie Beatrice on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and you play Detective Rosa Diaz. Let me tell you something. Number one, we're so glad that Brooklyn Nine-Nine is with us on, a, uh, on NBC right now. And the fact that you guys follow each other, it's like a park up on the couch and that's it. I'm stuck for the rest of the night, you know? Hey, that's great. That's, that's our intention. <laughs> We're well paired like wine and cheese, you know? Truly. <laughs> uh, speaking of pairings and quarantine, I'm going to get to the shows in just a second, but can you guys help me out here? What has been like your go-to quarantine snack? What's been your favorite one? Everything. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I started ordering bags of mini Almond Joy bars. <gasps> yeah. I, I didn't know, I haven't had an Almond Joy, I don't know, years. And now it's like every day, it's, al it's Almond Joy o'clock. <laughs> almond Joy o'clock. Mine is <laughs> actually probably more like cocktail hour. Like mm -hmm. right around like four or five, I'm like, ah, all right. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes you can have like a mimosa for breakfast and nobody judges, and then you just kind of follow that with a little bit of something in your your coffee, make it an Irish coffee, coffee, you know, and then just work it, out until, work it out until four o'clock, and then nobody's judging. No nobody judging is you. judging here. No um, I don't have anything in this coffee right now. <laughs> <laughs> So another fun question, who has been one of you ladies' favorite people to follow on social media? There's been so many memes going around, and that's what's literally keeping all of us afloat are the quarantine memes. But is there anybody in specific that you follow that's just been posting comedy gold? Oh, great question. I mean, the cats, the cats of the world are posting comedy gold right now. I follow a lot of cat meme accounts. Um, I find that social media is best in small doses for me. Um, I had a friend the other day say something really smart. I was like, well, I have to get, you know, I have to be on social media so I can see what's happening. And she was like, no girl, that's what the internet is for. Just why don't you just Google your favorite news sites. All of the coronavirus news is most, most sites are making it free. It's totally accessible. Like you don't need to get on social media to find anything but fun right now. So like, yeah, I would say cat memes are really doing it for me. I've been sent, I didn't I send you one? Oh yeah. Before? Yeah, I sent you that one of that cat, like making that crazy noise and then didn't your cat run in the, the room? Yeah. Oh, this cat cat was, was, my cat was asleep and literally was like, <laughs> it was amazing. Another uh, oh yeah, the cats are killing it. I have to say also, TikTok, which is something that I still don't understand, I feel elderly, but there's so much great content being pumped out, like really funny, short content, um, which is great because everybody's, you know, at home, everybody can make their own videos. I will also shout out that we have a Superstore fan named Dahlia who makes videos where she plays every character in a oh, scene. Stop, that's and it is, they are so good and they're so cute and I adore her and I, I, I just think that it's the greatest, cutest content. I love oh it. Oh my okay. gosh, that's so cute. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna search her because I have a TikTok and just like you, Lauren, I have no idea. I spent four hours trying to do a dance like by myself and I was looking around like, thank goodness nobody else is watching this hot mess oh right God. now. Yeah. All right, so let's get into Superstore, which, Really quickly, Cloud9, Lauren, do you think that you maybe could go to the set and like borrow some of their toilet paper if you really needed to? 
Listen, I don't know where they keep those props. Um, things are always ever changing on the set. There's things coming in and out depending on where we're shooting and what we're shooting. Uh, I, are they stockpiling it? I don't know. Have the prop people gone in and taken it? I hope so. I hope that they've supported their families and loved ones with, a, <laughs> with any sort of toilet paper stockpile we may have. Um, but yeah, listen, I mean, if, I, if we could get back on the lot, you know, maybe that's the place to go. That's the place right. that's going to have all the necessities for sure. Under lock and key. So this yeah. is really cool. Um, we've, go, we've got season finales, the finale episodes of both shows coming up, Thursday night, comedy treats. Let's catch up everybody a little bit about each of the shows uh, respectively and just kind of set a basis of what we can look for in those uh, upcoming episodes. Lauren, you start because you know what? Superstore's first. Absolutely, 8 p.m. Uh, 7 Central. I, uh, what's happening? Where did we leave off? Oh my gosh, quarantine brain is real. Okay, so uh, Amy has gotten a call. She's been offered a job interview for uh, a job at corporate, which would of course uh, take her out of state. Uh, and so we're kind of coming into cloud nine where she has, uh, she has said that this is happening. Dina, of course, is trying to be a good friend. She is trying to help her out. She's trying to, uh, you know, maybe keep this on the down low. And of course, Dina uh, succeeds with um, small success in helping do that. Uh, so that's the big thing that's going on for uh, Dina and Amy, obviously. And obviously, we, we did not get to film our 22nd, epi 22nd episode of the season. This was technically episode 21. Um, but I think that it's going to be great. I think that fans are really going to like what, what happens. They're going to like how we kind of leave it. And, you know, I can't say too much about obviously what, what's going into next season and the creative and all of that, but I, I will promise that the, the storyline for, for Amy's character will come together. Okay. I like it. We'll take all of those things. I can definitely. I was on set that week that they shot that episode because I was shadowing their director. And it's such a good episode. It's so funny. It's so well done. I think, I know like they had to sort of end their season early, but I, I really strongly feel like fans are going to really love this episode because I watched it get shot and I watched the work they put into it's, it. And it's really. Oh, bless uh, you. Thank yeah, you. man, it's really good. You're really it's good. Such a good cast. You guys have such a great cast. I'm, I'm speaking for both. <laughs> it's such a great cast. I can't imagine there ever even being a bad day on set, you know? So, like, every day you go to work is a great day, you know? Yeah. And, Stephanie, does that mean that you'll be directing maybe in the future if you were shadowing the director then? Ooh. You know, I would love to direct Superstore. It's such a cool show I mean like I learned so much while I was there you know in particular about the way that it's shot but also the way that the set is really one of the major characters on that show I mean like that that set and the sort of hiding spots and different conversations that happen in different places and the way the show feels as if you yourself are shopping in the store and you're like watching things happen as they unfold I think it's such a it's such a clever it's so clever to me. And, and I in particular love so many actors on that show. Like I, I love Lauren. I think she's so funny, so talented, so gifted. I think like one of the best things about watching her work is watching her, you know, Lauren writes too. She's a really good writer and she's written an episode of Superstore. And like, you can see her writer brain come together with her actor brain while she's on set. And so if something isn't like maybe quite as funny as it could be, Lauren's brain gets in there and kind of amps it up. And that's such a fun thing to watch as an actor, but also as someone who wants to direct more because you just, that's an exciting thing to work with people that use all of their gifts to make the thing they're working on better and better. That's, sure. that's thrilling to watch. But yeah, I would love, absolutely. I would love to just direct more in general because I think it's going to make me an all around better creative person. Awesome. Well, let's hear a little bit about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Come on, catch yeah. up. Yeah. So in this, in the finale episode, there's a blackout in Brooklyn and the squad kind of has to separate and deal with different parts of what's happening. You know, like obviously the streets are going to be like kind of nuts if there's a black, a citywide blackout. I was in New York last year shooting, uh, shooting in the Heights and there was a blackout. And it was wild. Like, that city gets wild when there's a blackout. So <laughs> that's happening. 
And then Amy is stuck in the precinct trying to like control things and then has to deal with like, even bigger issues than she could have imagined. Rose is kind of forced to help her with that. And Jake is stuck out on the street and kind of can't get back. So you're watching like all this kind of chaos that sort of spins into this beautiful, like, I don't know, cyclone of hilariousness. I thought it was a really well written episode. Well, done episode I think I think the physical comedy in it in particular I'm excited to see how it comes together on screen well every week you guys entertain us every week so thank you for what you do yeah. for bringing comedy uh, to a time where we really really need it uh, before I go Lauren Ash from Superstore and Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine-Nine what we've been doing with our friends from NBC are asking them to give us a quarantine confession and I've run the gauntlet. I've done interviews with pajamas on. I've had a little bit of champagne in my cup. But what would be your quarantine confession? <clears throat> uh, my quarantine confession is that yesterday, my boyfriend and I, uh, I got us a classic Nintendo. Uh, <gasps> I ordered one to be delivered a few weeks ago. And yesterday, we played Nintendo for seven hours. <laughs> Seven hours. That is I've so never cute. Video games that long in my life, and it was glorious. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you beat Bowser? <laughs> oh my gosh, we were we played a couple different games. Uh, really into Dr. Mario, having a deep love affair with him. And uh, <laughs> there's a game called Bubble Bobble that we got to the final. We have not beaten the final level, but let me tell you, we're gonna get back in it. We're gonna get back Bubble in it. Bubble Bobble. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, now, what about you? My quarantine confession is that I'm finding that um, none of the hair products that I thought worked work. Like, I, I was, like, under the impression that I had, like, my hair in a situation that was, like, good. But what I didn't realize was that I was going to work every day and having someone <laughs> do it for me. So my quarantine confession is that I think I've got to, like, completely redo like how I'm doing my hair. I mean, this is third day hair and it looks pretty good. Like, we're just, why not need to wash my hair that much? Like, is that what I'm finding out? I don't know. We'll see. I'm on a journey. <laughs> I haven't it's showered hard. in four days. <laughs> hey man, you just got to make it through. Make it through. <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you so, so much. We are so excited to watch you, Lauren, as Dina on Superstore in the episode Thursday night. And Stephanie, we can't wait to see you as Detective Rosa Diaz in Brooklyn Nine-Nine as well. Thank you for taking the time. Please stay well and please check back in with us here at Houston Life once all of this is wrapped up. Thank you. Love you, Absolutely. Houston.